morning everyone and welcome to our story time Christmas spectacular. Exactly, it's a spectacular. Today you're going to see all of your favourite Mooney Valley Library storytellers for a fun Christmas story time. Hey, there's something on my shoulder. What is that? Ah, it's a bonbon. Ah, and there's something behind me. More bonbons and a Christmas tree. In a minute, we're going to decorate that Christmas tree. We are together on the land of the Wurundjeri Woi Wurrung, and we acknowledge the ancestors who have taken care of this country, land, waterways and skies. And we are one with this country. Great job, everybody. Now, there's somebody here that might like to say hello to you. Who was that? Oh. <laughs> it's Santa, of course. It's nearly that time of year. <gasps> Santa in his red suit and his big white beard and his black boots. Hmm. At the moment, when you walk around everywhere, you see pictures of Christmas trees and Santas and Rudolphs everywhere, don't you? Because, of course, it's Christmas. <gasps> All right, now, a Christmas tree. It looks very boring. There's nothing on that tree. It needs something, doesn't it? Maybe some baubles, some stars and lights, some tinsel. I think this morning you and I are going to decorate this tree. You ready? All right. Oh, I have a star, but it's not very bright. Can you see that? It's a bit grey. I think we need to... Work our magic and brighten it up. Star shining bright on a Christmas tree. Tell me what colour star you see. Let's see if there's a, another colour under here. Oh, up. What colour is that? Red. Let's pop it on. Red star is bright. Red star is bright. Twinkle and shine all through the night. We have one star. I think we need some more, don't you? Okay, here's another one. Star shining bright on a Christmas tree. Tell me what colour star you see. I'm pretty sure there's a colour hiding behind this grey. One, two, three. Ta-da! What colour is that star? Blue. Let's pop it over here. Blue star is bright, blue star is bright, twinkle and shine all through the night. Let's get another one. Star shining bright on a Christmas tree, tell me what colour star you see. Did you see a colour? It's orange. Let's pop it here. Orange star is bright. Orange star is bright. Twinkle and shine all through the night. Another one. Star shining bright on a Christmas tree. Tell me what color star you see. One, two, three. Pink. Pink star is bright, pink star is bright, twinkle and shine all through the night. How many have we got? One red star, one pink star, one orange star and one blue star. That makes four stars. Let's see if we can find five stars. Star shining bright on a Christmas tree. Tell me what colour star you see. Oh, one of my favourite colours in the whole wide world. Yellow. Up the top you go. Yellow star is bright. Yellow star is bright. Twinkle and shine all through the night. Well done. Five stars on our tree. Looks pretty now, doesn't it? Do you have a Christmas tree at home? 
And if you don't have a Christmas tree at home, have you seen some Christmas trees in stores and shops? They're very bright and pretty. All right, that's my session over. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very happy holiday. Can't wait to see you all next year. But I'm going to pass you on now to the next storyteller. Oh, hello, Josie. Yep, we're passing it to Josie. Bye. Thanks, Kate. Hi, everyone. I'm Josie from Rooney Valley Libraries. And today I thought I'd read you a funny Christmas story. And this is called Christmas Wombat. And it's by Jackie French and Bruce Watley. And it's published by HarperCollins. And we'd like to thank them all for allowing me to read the story today. Christmas Wombat. Slept, scratched, slept, ate grass. Dangly things bump against my nose. Got rid of them. Smelled carrots. There's a sign You're in the bowl of carrots. It says, for Santa and his reindeer. Strange creatures are eating my carrots. Do you know who that strange creature is? It's a reindeer. You're right. Fought major battle with strange creatures. Wombat doesn't look happy. Won the battle. Feeling tired. Found the perfect spot to take a nap. I think that's Santa's sleigh. And off Wombat goes on the sleigh in the sky, but he's sleeping. I smell carrots. And do we know who that is walking behind Wombat? Father Christmas, you're right. Santa. Strange creatures trying to eat my carrots. Got rid of them again. Carrots delicious. Up to find more carrots. Back on the sleigh, one back goes. Hmm. One bat hole? Do you think that's a one bat hole? That looks like a chimney. Carrots! Wombat has gone down the chimney to find some more carrots. Hmm, not easy to get back up. I think Wombat is stuck. Scratched. It's back on the sleigh. Have misjudged strange creatures. They can be useful for finding carrots. Never knew there were so many carrots in the world. Carrots. Carrots on the windowsill. Carrots. Is that a carrot? Is that the bird's beak? Oh dear. They're the same colour. My carrots. 
says Wombat. Oh dear. Who's this? Big white polar bear. And off Wombat goes, back on the sleigh. Where's he going to land? Said goodbye to strange creatures. Hope they visit again soon. Grass, delicious. But for some reason, not hungry. Slept. There's Wombat sleeping with some carrots. Maybe that's his Christmas present. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a little funny story about a wombat. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to see you all back at the Flemington Library. And now I'm going to pass you on to Carolyn, who's going to sing you a Christmas song. Bye, everyone. What's this? Thank you, Josie. Wow. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it blows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. You go down in history. Christmas, have a fantastic new year to everyone who comes to the library. We're so looking forward to seeing more of you next year. Have a fantastic summer and much love and best wishes to all of you. Wow, thanks Carolyn. A bomba, fantastic. Hello everyone, Paul from Avondale Heights Library. Welcome along to our special Christmas story time. Such a pleasure to join you again today. I'd just like to thank every one of you for coming out, watching us on, on the screen this year. Big thank you to all of my colleagues, all the other staff from the, the 
the children's services for wonderful baby rhyme times, toddler times and story times throughout the year. Hopefully we'll see you guys all in the library soon. Merry Christmas, everyone. So the story I've chosen to read to you this special Christmas story time is Santa Selfie. And this is written by Peter Bentley, illustrated by Anna Chernyshoff, and published by Macmillan Children's Books. Thank you to all of those people for allowing us to read this fun story. Santa Selfie. Here we go, lots of pictures of Santa. Santa was packing his holiday gear. He chuckled, <laughs> I'm not doing Christmas this year. The North Pole is freezing. It's not at all fun. I'm not staying here. I'm off to the sun. Just for one Christmas, he said to the elves, you'll have to deliver the presents yourselves. Take care of the reindeer while I'm away. I'll leave little Elfie in charge of the sleigh. Santa decided to start off his trip by going for a sail on a luxury ship, the SS Santa Cruz. He waved as the sleigh flew away in the sky. We see it there. And called out to Alfie, Merry Christmas, bye bye. Ho, 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 Santa smiled as he boarded the liner. A cruise in the sunshine? What could be finer? Why do I stay in the Arctic? It's silly. Being stuck somewhere gloomy and lonesome ooh, and chilly. There he is. Getting ready to go on board the SS. Santa Cruz. Santa was sunbathing next to the pool, sipping a juice that was tasty and cool, when a little boy's letter dropped out of his book, and a girl picked it up and had a quick look. Santa reading his book. Oh, that has fallen out. It said, Dear Santa, for Christmas I'd like a new pair of football boots, some sweets and a bike. You're Santa! That's awesome! She gasped in delight. Can I take a quick photo? said Santa. All right. Click. Thanks, said the girl. I must tell the others. And she ran off to fetch all her sisters and brothers. Santa's aboard! Soon everyone knew, including the captain and all of the crew. Wherever he went, he heard people say, I must get a photo with Santa today. Click, click, click. Who they are. Everyone wants a photo with Santa. Folks wanted snaps when he went to the gym. And when he jumped in the pool for a swim. When Santa tried yoga, he liked to keep healthy. He even got 
asked for an upside down selfie. And after, when Santa was eating his lunch, he was stopped for a photo between each munch. Oh, click, click, click. Oh no, poor Santa. Everyone wants a photo. I must leave this liner, sighed Santa. I'm trapped. I can't move a muscle without being snapped. Click, click, click. Everyone watching photos. The liner arrived at a port the next day, said Santa. This looks like a nice place to stay. He crept to the gangway and chuckled with glee. I did it! Oh, 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 no more photos for me! But then his heart sank as he heard a loud cheer. <gasps> there he is! There he is! cried the people. Santa is here! It looked like the whole of the city was there. Hey, Santa, said Senor Gonzalez, the mayor. We heard you were coming, and now, if you please, can we take a few photos? Santa, say cheese! Welcome, Banner. Welcome. Oh, bother, thought Santa. They know me here, too. I'll go somewhere far from all this hullabaloo. But from Paris to Sydney, from Cairo to Kyoto, the folks cried, it's Santa! And asked for a photo. He was snapped in Brazil on the Copacabana. Click! And he's stepping in zebra poop on the savannah. Ooh! Click! Everywhere around the world, everyone wants a photo. The Great Wall of China drove Santa half mad. At the old Taj Mahal, things were nearly as bad. Click, 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 click. When he reached the Grand Canyon, he thought, Peace at last. No one will find me. This place is so vast. He sat himself down for a doze in the shade started to snore and then oh, sat up dismayed there three busloads of children had seen Santa napping and stood with their cameras all merrily snapping no rest for Santa anywhere Santa saw one little boy on his own and asked do you mind if I borrow your phone? Click, click, click. He thought to himself, there's just one place I know where no one wants photos wherever I go. Behind a big cactus, he made a quick call and heard something jingling in no time at all. Look at that jingling bee. Down came the sleigh. Oh, Santa cried. Phew! Take me home, little Elfie. And whoosh! Off they flew. Thanks, little Elfie, for coming so fast, he said, when they got to the North Pole at last. It was really fun driving your sleigh, <laughs> chuckled Alfie. And now 
Would you mind if I took a quick selfie? Oh, even the elves want a selfie. <laughs> lots of photos, lots of selfies with Santa. What a fun Christmas book. Santa selfie. Thanks everyone. Merry Christmas. Are you ready, Suzanne? Catch! Ah! Oh my goodness! Where'd that come from? Oh, well, it must mean that we've got to do something special and I've got a special word, Suzanne! Oh, there you are! Hello! Guess who's oh, here? Hello! And Sally! Hello. Oh my goodness, Santa, I wasn't expecting well, you! It's oh, our time of year! Oh, it, it is because it's December and it's nearly Christmas! <laughs> Interview. We're going to be do, may as well do a bit of a one-on-one -on -one question time for Santa. So Santa, yes. make yourself oh, comfortable. Yes. Oh. Santa, okay. Thank you, Soren, for coming in early. He's my assistant, you see, my assistant. Yep, everyone's here. Now, Santa, question for you. Yes. Has everybody been good this year? Oh, I think everyone's been very well behaved this year. It's been a hard year. It's been a hard year with homeschooling, but I've seen you working very hard at home. And your parents, thank you parents for helping your children. Now, another question, Santa. It's been very important for everybody to be washing their hands. Now, 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 has everybody been washing their hands and using the, the disinfectant, the sanitizer? Oh, absolutely. I've seen you're using, you know, I said to the elves, you need to wash your hands. And they said, oh, okay. I said, you need to have baths. And they don't like having baths. They don't like having baths. They get very frizzy hair, you see. Oh, very frizzy. No. Can you imagine oh. an elf with frizzy hair? With hair <laughs> after hair, they can barely fit through the door. Oh, but I said goodness. to them, you need to keep clean. It's very important because we want all the little children to get presents and they all have to be clean. Yes, clean presents. Clean presents, clean elves and Big clean, hair. clean places. Has it been, Big has it, the other places you've gone to, have they been behaving themselves? You know, yes. those other countries? Some countries have been a little bit naughty, but... You know, everybody needs a bit of happiness at the moment, so I still will bring them presents, but I'm going to fly a little bit higher. Just a, just a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher? Yeah, just in case, you know. Just, just to I'm, get I'm, rid of the I'm, I'm, I'm elderly, I'm a little bit old, so I have to be, have to be careful. Have to be oh, yes. very careful. Yeah, oh. high but not too high, because oh, if you fall out of your sleigh, we don't want you breaking a hip. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I'd have to do yoga or something. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Can you imagine Santa doing yoga? Downward Elf? I've heard about it, but I'm not sure I'm going to do it. Oh, so goodness. Santa, oh, yes, yes, another yes. question for you. What is your favourite thing Ooh. to have left for you as something to nibble on when you come and deliver those gifts? That is a very good question. Now, I'm partial to shortbread. It doesn't have to be homemade. I do like shortbread, but I'll tell you what I do like. Mrs. Claus has got me on a bit of a diet, you see, and I don't mind some carrot sticks. I Ooh. quite like them. I, I, everybody thinks they're for the reindeer, but uh, I must, I do share. I do share them, but, you know, I, I do like a few carrot sticks as well. So you share the carrot sticks with, with Rudolph? With Rudolph and Blixen and Comet. All of them, they all like them. Although Dancer, he gets a little bit whiffy. <laughs> he gets a bit whiffy because <laughs> of the carrots. So, so I don't usually give him carrots because, you know what, riding behind a reindeer... Oh, no, it's not nice. No, it wouldn't be not... Oh, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be very nice. But, you um, know, if, uh, if you don't tell Mrs. Claus, you can leave me some chocolate. Just... Just a little bit. Oh, you like a little bit of chocolate? <laughs> Just a little, little, little tiny bit. But don't tell, don't tell my wife. Don't tell Mrs. Claus. I mean, she's that you're leaving Santa some chocolate, so <laughs> he can have a carrot stick and some shortbread. And biscuits. some shortbread. Is shortbread on the diet list? Oh, oh, well, it's it's a white food, you know, and they say white foods are very healthy. As you right. look at all the white. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Just a little oh, bit. Oh, no, right, you're right, yeah. So bit. if if the reindeer smell. Wasn't there a rhyme about Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin mm, Flew Away? Mm, yeah. Santa... Oh, I don't know the rest of it. I, I can hear everyone it. singing it. Anyway, so, yeah, oh, we don't want smelly things, do we? No, 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 no. You no, 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 no. can leave carrots, but just not for Comet. Okay. Comet, Com mm. Comet, no? Okay. No. All right, so, Santa. Yes. Final question for you. Oh, okay. Got hand on buzzers. Ready to go. Is it a 
competition. Oh, okay, no. Not really. <laughs> Santa can get very competitive, you know. You know, old Saint Nick. Santa. Keep an eye. Oh. Okay, the final question. Have I been a good girl and am I going to get a Christmas present this year? Where's my list? Where's my list? I haven't got it here now. I believe you've done a lot of story times on the, the US tubers, the YouTube and the things and the yeah, Facebook. Yeah, YouTube stuff, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you've brought a lot of happiness to children. Yeah, and the parents have been very grateful for a half hour break to have a little tea, whether it's Long Island or normal, I don't know. Yes. So I definitely think you're on the good list. Yes. Doing lots of good work for all the children of Mooney Valley. And you know what? Even children who aren't from Mooney Valley have been checking Suzanne out. And all the children's team. And all the children's team. All the children's team. I think all the children's team are going to get a Christmas present this year. Oh, we look. I hope so. No, don't tell Suzanne, but I have organised something special for the whole children's team. Oh, Joe, you're not supposed to listen. Oh, no. Did, oh, didn't goodness. hear a thing. La, 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 <laughs> Didn't hear a word. Didn't hear a word. Oh, my goodness. Well... It's been, it's so good to see you, Santa. Well, I'm not sure that we kept the 1.5 metre distance. Do, can we do a high five air? Oosh, oosh. Oh, that was nice. That nice to go. Have it, have it, bottom bump because. Oosh, oosh. <laughs> oh, right, now, sorry, you shouldn't be watching now, that. Now, this, this has to go somewhere. Now, that's now, going I to believe, the other children's team. It is, and I believe the next person on the list is the lovely Bianca. So. Are you there she is. ready? Look, there she is. She there? Can you see her? It's coming. I can see her. There she is. There she is. Hi, Bianca. Wow. Oh, hello, everyone. And welcome to Storytime. I'm Bianca from Sam Maryfield Library. Um, thanks for coming along to Storytime today. Are you counting down until Santa comes? I wonder what he's going to bring. Let's sing a song together, a Christmas song. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, wow. Thanks for singing along with me. Bye. See you next year. Wow! Hi everyone, it's Libby from the library. Miss you guys. Hopefully we can do this in the branch soon. Merry Christmas! Are we all counting down the days? Written your wish lists. What would be really nice for the next year? Okay, so we're going to sing some jingle, jingle bells. Have you got your tea towel? Go get it! Quick, 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 quick like a cat. Go! Alright. I think you're back now. Let's sing some jingle bells. Are we ready? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Now I'm going to teach you the really naughty version. Are you ready? Jingle bells, Batman tells Robin lays an egg. The Batmobile lost her wheel and the Joker got away. Hey! Merry Christmas, everybody. Next up is the most wonderful Maria. Hey, Maria, can you get this? Thanks, Libby. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for your support throughout the year. We couldn't have done it without you, and we hope to see you in the library soon. I have a beautiful story for you now. Today's Smartboard story is based on a book called Santa's New Suit. It's a dress up and fold out Santa, written by Lisa Rogeny, designed by Jim D. Singh, illustrated by Mike Lester, and published by Angus and Robertson, an imprint of Harper Collins Publishers. And we'd like to thank them so much for allowing me to tell you this story today. Here we go. Twas Christmas Eve at Santa's place. The sleigh was packed with loot. You can't go out, cried Mrs. Claus. I've gone and shrunk your suit. The elf said, let's try a costume shop. Then Santa needn't worry. We'll find another bright red suit and find it in a hurry. The shop 
was out of bright red suits. So Santa said, well, hey, I'll be an ape instead this year. But the missus said, no way. A clown suit might be just the thing, said Santa, full of cheer. But Mrs Claus just shook her head. Don't clown around, my dear. Well, giddy up and run, boys, yelled Santa, full of hope. You all must be kidding, said an elf, and didn't see the rope. Next. Santa tried on a skeleton suit, but this caused a lot of groans. His wife said, Santa, you'll scare the kids with the skull and all those bones. Then Santa tried an armoured suit. that had a fancy lance, but with clumsy elves to help him, he didn't have a chance. Santa tried a tutu on that was so pink and frilly. His wife said, dear, your legs are nice, but the rest of you looks Silly. Perhaps a monster? Santa asked. His wife just disappeared. The owls and reindeer ran so fast because Santa looked too weird. Say. Yo ho ho! Hey, stop jeweling, take a look. They liked the bird, but all agreed he'd have to lose the hook. This suit won't work, poor Santa cried. And what's with this pink hair? I can't go out for Christmas Eve. I don't know what to wear. He sounds like me. I'm back. It's here, yelled Mrs. Claus. Santa couldn't believe his eyes. She'd stretched his suit to look brand new for the perfect Christmas Surprise. Hooray for Santa. Merry Christmas, everyone. And now over to the beautiful Stephanie. <gasps> One little, two little, three little reindeer. Four little, five little, six little reindeer. Seven little, eight little, nine little reindeer. Pulling Santa's sleigh, <gasps> flying, flying over rooftops, flying, flying over rooftops, flying, flying over rooftops. Ten little reindeer flying. <gasps> now we're going to stomp, stomping, stomping on the ground, stomping, stomping on the ground. Stomping, stomping on the ground. Ten little reindeer stomping. Snoring, snoring, snoring reindeer. Snoring, snoring, snoring reindeer. Snoring, snoring, snoring reindeer. Ten little reindeer snoring. Yay! Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for the entire year 
for story time and toddler time and baby rhyme time and now for Christmas. All the staff at Mooney Valley City Libraries love you and we really enjoyed having you join us through this entire year. We hope that you have a very Merry Christmas, a great new year, and we cannot wait to see you back in branch and at the libraries when we can sometime next year. Thank you very much, everybody. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs>